It was, arguably, the low point of Smart's first season as a head coach. Georgia had well more than twice Vanderbilt's yardage and yet lost by a point after an ill-advised fourth down play call left the team inches short. There were a lot of errors in that game, Smart recalled this week. Give them credit. This year Georgia comes in playing as well as anybody in the country, unbeaten and ranked number 5, while Vanderbilt, 3-2, is coming off two straight losses. Georgia has talent and resources that well outstrip Vanderbilt's football program and has dominated the all-time series. The Bulldogs were a 17-point favorite as of Thursday, per VegasInsider.com. And yet over the last decade plus this matchup has seen some funky games and some clunky results. 2016, Vanderbilt won in Athens for the first time since 2006, after Georgia, trailing 17-16, called an outside run to Isaiah McKenzie on fourth and one, with Nick Chubb as lead blocker, rather than carrying the ball. Vanderbilt's all-second side linebacker, Zach Cunningham, sniffed out the play and pulled McKenzie down before the marker. 2015, Georgia won. 31-14, but puttered around on a fence, needing three Vanderbilt turnovers and a McKenzie 77-yard punt return touchdown. 2013, Vanderbilt came back to pull off the 31-27 upset, in a game Georgia thought it had cliched early in the fourth quarter with a fourth down stop, only for a controversial targeting call against Ramick Wilson, extend a Commodore's drive. 2011, Georgia barely hung on to win, 33-28, with punter Drew Butler making a game-saving tackle after his punt was blocked deep in Georgia territory late in the game. The defense held on in the short field as the Bulldogs survived. 2007, a week after being routed at Tennessee, Georgia barely escaped the trip to Nashville with a 2017 victory. Somehow, that propelled the Bulldogs on a winning streak finishing with seven straight wins, including in the Sugar Bowl. 2006, in one of the stunning upsets of the Mark Richt era, Vanderbilt won in Athens, 24-22.